Hello and welcome to New Bytes. So yesterday what we did was we unboxed the Blue Win HD LTE mobile phone. Um, yesterday when we checked it, it was running on Windows 8.1 operating system and uh, we had set it up basically and put in a SIM card and a 16 GB uh, micro SD card. What I did extra was I applied the screen guard on top of this. So it's basically, as I said, it's not a tempered glass screen guard. It's just a normal uh, screen guard with just a plastic screen guard. Uh, I might have landed a few air bubbles in the corner over here, but that's okay. Can still manage. I'm using the silicon gel basic cover which they have given us. So I'm just leaving it as it is. Now what I've done today is I just went through the phone and I got it upgraded to Windows 10, Windows 10 operating system. Now I haven't shut down the phone yet. I have just waited for the uh, Windows 10 upgrade to happen, and after that, there's been basically no changes. So I'm just just going to show you what changes just happened. So okay. So right off the screen, this is the home screen, as you can see here, uh, yes, okay, so you can see Microsoft Edge, which is the new uh, replacement to uh, Internet Explorer, since a dual SIM card, you have the two Airtel SIMs, uh, the camera, and the, the, uh, the music is being changed to Groove Music. Cortana is still the same. Okay. Also, we have the Facebook application, and also right here we have the store, which is right now showing advertisements of different games. If you can, if I can scroll down and show you right here, it's showing you advertisements of different applications on the store. Also the photos application, the uh, a new overhauled office application. I've installed WhatsApp Extra, OneDrive, the radio, different build uh, settings. Also, I have Skype, Outlook Calendar, the news stories, Outlook, and also right down the bottom is uh, yeah the calendar and also we have uh, this is gmail sorry this is gmail right here and also the second sim card details that is the phone and the messaging so um, I can also show you what exactly comes in over here in the app tray in the app tray we can show what is recently added like whatever I have installed different applications in alphabetical order and it's a vertical scrolling which is something which you can see in Android these days and uh, let me just bring it back yeah Android okay get started groove music health and fitness maps quite a lot of applications in store over here okay so they all seem to be categorized in alphabetical order and usually we used to see that they are uh, if I can go back down to settings oh sorry settings settings is just like how a windows control panel looks like it's everything is categorized instead of being in a whole huge list and uh, just to show you the mention of the phone I can find details like phone update, backup, find my phone. So uh, let's see, phone update, no. Mm. Okay, this seems to be more difficult than I thought. System, yeah, about. Okay, so here you go. It says right down here that it is running on Windows 10 mobile installed RAM 1 GB and also uh, yeah it's a Windows phone great 
next offline maps driving mode device encryption it's something new which i did not notice last time um device encryption messaging different settings they all seem to be well categorized and uh time and language it's good looks everything looks good but one thing i noticed which i find really really which annoys me is that if i try to open something as similar as simple as like say OneDrive, I get this long loading screen. Oh yeah, and yeah, and this opened. Let's say something like WhatsApp. What happened, WhatsApp? Okay, okay, Cortana. First time I'm opening Cortana. Let's see how it looks. Ooh, white screen. Ah, some of things. Next, yes, got on. <sighs> so these are apparently the languages got on us speaks in. So mm. kind of choosing the language and oh hey, yeah ring up this notification a lot of everything seems to be kind of different here I'm not sure what is all this about uh, let's go back settings uh, what languages can Cortana use we have Microsoft Edge okay Yes, yes. Okay. Back to the home screen, everything is fine. Looks good. Basic applications all seem to be really nice. And uh, sometimes I've noticed that there is a sunlight uh, loading time, but then I'm assuming it to be a part of. Uh, the time taken to load, download different applications. So what I'll do now is I will sh shut down the phone and show you how long it takes to reboot the phone. Okay, so shut it down. It's a slide down to power it off. Bye. Okay, it's powered off, so I'll power it on again. There you go. Several times, it seems like the screen is flickering several times. Uh, it's like I was just deciding whether to start up or not. Uh, there it is, the Windows logo. That's it. It's up. It's powered on. Updates were installed. Great. Good. And yeah, it looks like something is not loading. Yeah. The home screen is up and ready. Great. So this was what, this is how Windows 10 mobile looks like after it's been updated. And how I got Bluewin HD updated is also pretty simple. If I go down to the uh, main applications, there is an application right here. Uh, called as Upgrade Advisor. I can bring this close and let's focus. This is called as Upgrade Advisor. It's available on the Windows Store. And uh, once you install it, you can upgrade your Windows 8.1 phone to a Windows 10 phone. 
and I've seen most people complaining about uh, that blue does not give the uh, the upgrade as an OTA or it does not Microsoft doesn't detect it because that's something which I noticed once I updated Windows 8.1 and uh, there were two basic updates once I did that what happened was it just said that the upgrades were all completed and there was no other uh, updates available so what I knew was when this particular phone is compatible with Windows 10 so I needed to know how it happens so what I did was I installed Windows the upgrade advisor from the Windows Store and then from there I was able to install Windows 10 so the Windows 10 update is almost 700 to 800 MBs in size it doesn't take much storage, uh, much size or much download but just make sure that there's more than 1 GB of storage space available when you are doing this upgrade. Okay, thank you.